What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. Yes, it is. I must have welcome back to Wu Assassins, but basically welcome. it's the same thing. Wu Assassins yes. Netflix set uh, see uh, episode three of season one. It's called Fire Chicken. Is that what it's called? It's called Fire Chicken. Yeah. I didn't write it down. Uh, so it's, it's... Well, you are a bastard for not doing that. I guess you bastard. Uh, check it. Check yourself for your yourself. This was a good episode. Um, mm -hmm. I am really beginning to like this show. It's, yes. uh, I mean, I liked it already to begin with, but I'm also beginning to like it even more. Here's mm -hmm. the thing. Lots of yes. fun stuff go down in this. There was a lot of good stuff. Um, you know, we're moving forward. Uh, Uncle Six is, is closing in on the, on the bald chef. He figures it out. He says, I get them all. They get them and all that good stuff. Right. But Lots yeah. of things went went down on here, Mike. What? Give me one of you, one, just one, right now. One, one of thing favorite, that went down. One of your favorite things that went down in this eps. Hmm. I think one thing that uh, that went down is the fact that we learned kind of about the fire in that building and and um, CG uh, talking with that former cop. I forgot his name. Jeff Fahey. Yes, of course. Yeah, I don't remember well, his name his in the show, name, but right? it doesn't matter uh, because he's Jeff freaking Fahey. They should just I think say, it was like I think it was like Jack or something. But anyway, featuring Jeff Fahey this episode. I think episode. that was I, I think Fahey. that was uh Staples I think it was actually 90s, man. He's a 90s staple. <laughs> Do you want to know what I when I'm, I'm sorry, what, okay. <laughs> sorry, man. Uh I think no, honestly, I think that was one of my favorite scenes of the episode is is her talking with um uh, Fahey or whatever the heck his name is because um, number one he's just an interesting character he's sitting there getting drunk at the bar and um, CG doing a little detective work which was cool and just the uh, you know how we how we keep saying fire monster the the fire was controlled yeah, he and saw, he saw um, monster, I think yeah. it ended kind of like with there were kids he saved the kids and she was like there were oh, no yeah. kids in this building so it's basically um, showing the power that uh, Six has he takes out the seven triad generals leaders whatever it is and in the meantime you get a good side of him um from uh from six and he's saving right. yeah right, right children right. you know he's saving kids so i i, I think I, that was what probably stuck out just that scene i thought it was good i think one of my favorites two well i had two favorite scenes uh one was uh uh cg uh beating up on kai was awesome I like how she just like. That's when he was like spying in it. Well, he was looking in the windows or whatever, right? Yeah, he was the, trying to the spy in the window. Of the house, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, right. He was trying to spy in the window, and she's just basically like throwing everything in her apartment at him, like using mm -hmm. things like the the fridge and throwing stuff at him. Yeah. I thought that was really fun. Another one that I really enjoyed the fight in the kitchen. Yeah. With Zan and Jenny, I yeah. was really rooting for Jenny because I know she's a good fighter, but like Zan wiped the floor with her, and it just oh, goes she to whooped show her ass. Me, like, yeah. I, I, I really enjoy the character of Zan. I'm looking forward to seeing more stuff with her. Mm -hmm. Um both both ladies are fantastic fighters and I was just like I was like looking forward to it. And that was that was brutal. A lot of this a lot of these fights are very brutal, like a, very much like the raid, you know, like the movie like yeah. Raid One and Raid Two, but you know, not as not as gory, but still brutal. Like the hits are the hits are freaking brutal. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I, no, I enjoyed I, those things. Um I agree. What about I mean, uh, what? What's that? What are you gonna say? Sorry, man. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to uh, get a lot of stuff out in here before you know it gets too late. The so Kai didn't kill Six when he had the chance. Yeah. He, he shows him the knife, and Ying Ying shows up and says, "Hey, now's the chance, a hole." Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, you miss. You have to. You you can't miss the opportunities that are that are in front of you. Um. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, that's cool how she can. You get those scenes because obviously she said in one of the f previous episodes that it's like a, you know, uh, an hour there is like a split second or whatever she says. Like right, the yeah. timetable slows down much, so that's cool that at at certain times she can just pop in and almost guide him to a degree. Um, uh, yeah, I mean that's that's you know that's some interesting stuff. I think something that um, I mean from based off of what you had said about the. You know, taking the bold chefs and the kitchen fight and all that kind of stuff. How about the fact that Tommy's involved in this? And you know, he they pull up in front of his sister's restaurant. And he's like, "Oh, if you touch my sister, this and that." It's like this guy is uh, is hanging out with the wrong wrong crowd. And luckily, you know, luckily nothing really happened. Well, uh, the thing is, yeah, guys, but. the thing is, Tommy's Tommy's definitely involved. And real quick, I just want to apologize for anyone watching or listening. Uh, I had a, a fan going that's attached to my computer to 
to cool things off in here. And uh, if you just heard me turn that off, uh, yeah, well, sorry that was on before, and uh, we're not starting the episode over. It doesn't wow. matter. Uh, so audio should be a little bit better now. Anyhow, yeah. yeah, Tommy, you're an asswipe. You know, like he's just caught up, man. He just like hasn't grown he is, up. He is. He is. That's like, perfect. Caught, That's but perfect. He has. A, he has. A, he has a conversation with his sister where he says, "Once you're in the woo, you can't get out." Blah yeah. blah blah. I, you know, yeah, it sucked that he was in that. It sucked that he was in that. But he was doing. Mm-hmm. At least he wasn't hurting anybody per se, and you know they did collect all of these bald-headed chefs which i just thought was really funny he was just like yeah get me this bald-headed chef because i mean obviously who the hell knows so he thinks that yeah. he's gonna but let me ask you this wouldn't you think that he would understand the fact that the Wu assassin can do has the ability to to mask his identity number one he doesn't know he doesn't but know number that. two so 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 when so okay so here's some questions when did six get this power obviously do you think he had it I don't want to get too much because the next episode, episode four, gives us more information. But I'm going to pose a question to you now. We could talk about yeah. it when we talk about the next episode. But, you know, how did he get this power? And was it – obviously, it happened – I feel like it happened while he was working for the triad at some point. Like, he didn't have it. So when he, so when he prevented Kai in the last episode from killing that guy, right, he, he did it for him. I don't think he had the power then. But we'll talk about that next episode. Let's let's yeah. Let's, I'm not, let's, I mean, we don't really have we don't even have let's, an answer to let's that. Let's talk yet. about that next episode. I don't want to give too much away just yet. So, yeah. um, all right. So, what else happened? Um, yeah. Just, I mean, basically, we got we we you know we kind of busted that down. We got we got the fact that there was this big fire. Six was the one that started it. There were kids involved. Um, I mean, badass fights. It's that's never really an issue. Um, in this uh, in this show. Uh, so the fights are always kick ass, and really at the end is is after they find out that um, you know they I guess they they figure they collected all the bald head chefs in in the town. We see uh, Kai in the old man um, fa- you know face standing there in front of the van. Well, so it's yeah, uh, yeah that's really old man where it, face on. yeah the old man face on. So then they all they all meet up in this casino where um, Kai lets himself known that he's the guy, and that's kind of where. The episode I like how, lets uh, off. I like how Six rode down the escalator like a baller. He didn't yeah. walk or nothing. He just he just took his sweet time coming yeah. down. I thought it was great. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, what a baller. He's just like, yeah. it's going to make everyone wait for him. That. He doesn't how about, walk down. <laughs> how about his outfit? When he, if, when he, it's the flashback in like the 15 years prior with the yellow. like yeah. It looks like Michael Jackson with the hair. Yeah. And wait, stuff you're getting on. ahead of yourself, Mikey. That's the next episode. You're getting ahead Is of it? yourself. Yeah, it's the next episode. Is it? Yes. Uh, yeah. So um, <laughs> I know you, you said a couple of things from from episode four, which we'll get to. Uh, I don't think I. I don't think I did. Um, but anyway, yeah. So yeah, good stuff. This is obviously yeah. so. It's the third episode. This is obviously setting it up, getting ready to go. Here's my here. Here's what I think, Kai. And I'm gonna say it again when we talk about episode four. But here's the thing, Kai. Uh, he didn't kill him in his apartment because he wasn't. He just isn't sure yet. He isn't sure. He knows six is not great. And he doesn't like him anymore, really. Well, because Six does things that make you feel that he's not all that bad, you know? So that's what's mm-hmm. kind of... He's kind of one of those characters where, you know, you know he's doing bad shit as a leader of the triads, but he's also done some good, too. And for the I people mean, he cares I guess about, a, right, I, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, for the people he cares about. So, so uh, like I said, yeah, so, so, we'll, so we'll see. But yeah. I, I have... Uh, so my two theories now are, obviously, he didn't kill him because he didn't know yet. He didn't... He didn't he didn't under he didn't quite grasp the the gravity of the situation and two that six didn't have the power just yet until bef- right before that fire that the guy was talking about which again we'll, we'll get into um all right uh so we'll <laughs> I wonder I wonder if we'll see Jeff Fahey anymore I think it might have just been a little cameo I don't I don't know what else she could get out of him uh, again uh I like the fight I just like how because it's not like she didn't know who he was but so she just mm-hmm. reacted. Yeah. Like that, when yeah. uh, Kai shows up at her house. I don't know why he's creeping. And then she shows up, and, you know, she beats his ass. Like, I thought that was pretty cool. Like, Yeah, no, that was that, – and how easily he got out of, like, the belt, that whatever that was that she kind of – Oh, yeah, in. he just, like, yeah, just he, he just shows, like, he let himself be caught. Yeah. Oh, also, Jenny tells, you know, Kai, right in the middle of all this, I just want to bring it up that Kai was – he's like, all right, you know, he needs a job. So Jenny's like, all right, you can cook here. And I loved watching them make that stuff. Dude, oh, yeah. I am so into right now. I'm so into baking and cooking shows, 
um, especially like challenges. Well, there's plenty of them. Especially so. like challenges. Like we're watching, we're going through the seasons of Kids Baking Championship. It's yeah. If if you haven't seen the Kids Baking Championship, the specifically the kids one, they're yeah. fantastic. It's amazing. It, I, I have seen glimpses, and it's kind oh, of it's, un, it's unreal amazing. that these kids know how to mix certain ingredients oh, to make these. I, I'm I'm learning elaborate so much, meals dude, and I'm stuff. Telling, but yeah, I just I just made so I just made a key lime pie this week. First yeah, time sorry. I ever made a key lime pie. Came out pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, okay. and right, good uh, a couple. But last month I made a peanut butter pie. Next, I'm gonna end up making some donuts, I think. But um, I'm also watching the show, The Chef Show, which is based on the John Favreau movie, The Chef, and it's it's John Favreau and uh, uh, Chef Buddy. I can't remember his name now. Um, and they're going around and they just cooking it, dude. I just I just love these shows now. So, all right, well. Anyway, with third, so third person. That's some other stuff that's on like Netflix. Yeah, you can future, go check yeah. it out. So anyway, so I just I just enjoyed that scene when they were cooking. I just enjoyed that scene. You it was a little weird. Be... You know what? It was, it was cool in a way because it shows a chemistry, obviously. But I think the big thing was is she's like, do you do you, rem- do you need help? You know, do you remember how to do it? He's like, no, I remember how to do it. So she shoots out this dragon chicken something, whatever the hell she, uh, right. she says to him. But meanwhile, she's helping him prepare like half of the meal. So I know. Because they were having the guy, fun. They was having yeah, a little fun. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Him, I just thought know? that was a little, It was more, I guess, to add to like the chemistry that the two of them have and – you know they're um they was having a bit of they was having yeah. a little bit of fun they were um, having some fun so anyway that was good i enjoyed that so uh mm-hmm. yeah listen that's that um and she tells him about the loan that she took from uncle six and yeah. you know so everyone's getting some information yep. um all right look that's gonna do it i think the, obviously anything else that we missed or anything you guys want to touch on let us know in the comments section that's right, down that's below. right. Yes, check us out in the comments section. Like Chris said, we love getting all these kind of uh, these these uh, comments from you guys, which is awesome. Uh, check us out at Third Person Pod on all the social media outlets. There, we're on iTunes as well. You can have a listen. You can watch us there on iTunes. Third Person, we're all over the place. Um, Google search ThirdPersonPod.com. Just do it, and we'll see you for the next episode for Wu Assassin. Peace. <laughs>